you, Mr. Chairman. <clears throat> this proposal is the single most radical and most dangerous proposal that has been introduced in the 113th Congress. If this proposal were adopted, it would repeal the free speech protections of the First Amendment. The breadth of this proposal is astonishing. It should lead the evening news on every station. It saddens me that 46 Democratic Senators have signed their name to a constitutional amendment expressly repealing the free speech provisions of the Bill of Rights. I'll note that it's fitting that the chairman of this committee has decided to limit debate on this topic and indeed to restrict this markup to five minutes per member. I will note the markups we've had earlier this year on guns, on immigration. We actually had robust debates without limits. But it's quite fitting that there's a big red clock limiting the time. The Senator that. would yield. You, you were late to the meeting when we started, but I said that's for, and we'll go back and you, forth around. So you have another five minutes or another five minutes, another five minutes. We're not cutting anybody off. Yeah. I, 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 I appreciate the chairman's question. I, I hope the chairman's question will not come out of the time that's been allotted. And I would note, no other markup that I've been to has this restriction been in place. And I think it, it embodies what, what, what is being demonstrated here, which is that the Democratic members of this committee do not want to debate. They want to limit debate on their proposal to restrict the free speech rights of citizens. I'd like to ask each of my Democratic friends on this committee three questions. There are three questions that I asked in the subcommittee that I think go to the heart of what this proposal would do. Number one, should Congress be able to ban books? Number two, should Congress be able to ban movies? And number three, should Congress be able to prohibit the NAACP from speaking about politics? Now, in the subcommittee, I asked that question of my friend Chairman Durbin, and he promptly gaveled the hearing shut. But I'm going to suggest to each of you, I'm going to suggest to each of you that if, if you are going to vote for this proposal, that you should be prepared to answer questions from your citizens as to why you have voted for a proposal to allow Congress to ban books, to ban movies and to ban the NAACP. And, it, and what I want to briefly explain, there is no dispute that this amendment would allow all three. This amendment explicitly gives Congress the authority to regulate corporations. Simon & Schuster, book publisher, is a corporation. Under the express text of this amendment, what can Congress do to any corporation, including Simon & Schuster? It can, quote, and I'm quoting from the text, prohibit such entities from spending money to influence elections. Now, what does that mean? Well, some of you will say, you know, we don't necessarily trust the Republican who's giving his views. Let me tell you what the ACLU says it means. It's, it says that this constitutional amendment would allow Congress to ban publication of Hillary Clinton's book, Hard Choices. That's the ACLU. I'm sorry if, if, if my friend, the senior senator from, from California, finds the ACLU's comments problematic. I will read from the ACLU's letter under this amendment, quote, Congress would be allowed to restrict the publication of Secretary Hillary Clinton's forthcoming memoir, Hard Choices, if she were to run for office. I would note also on the question of banning books when the Obama administration was asked in the U.S. Supreme Court in the Citizens United case, are you saying Congress should be able to ban books that the federal government has the authority? The answer was yes. On the questions of movies, Citizens United was a movie. This whole thing was started because a movie maker dared make a movie critical of Hillary Clinton. You know what? It was their constitutional right to do so, just like it's Michael Moore's constitutional right to make movies that those on the left celebrate. And as for the NAACP, the NAACP is a nonprofit corporation, just like the Sierra Club, just like the AARP, under this language. 
the members of this committee are saying that we could prohibit, and prohibit is the word, not reasonably regulate, prohibit the NAACP from speaking on politics. Forty-six Democrats have signed on to undermining, to repealing the free speech protections of the Bill of Rights. Let me just say in closing, these are the Fahrenheit 451 Democrats. I agree with Senator Ted Kennedy, who said when a similar proposal was debated, quote, in the entire history of the Constitution, we have never amended the Bill of Rights, and now is no time to start. Where are the Ted Kennedys? Where are the civil libertarians on the left? Does the Bill of Rights mean so little Sen that 46 <laughs> senators are willing to amend it and take away our free speech rights? Senator, Senator Feinstein.